Hey guys, I got this 2012 Kia Soul and it's misfiring right now on cylinder number four. Let's go ahead and find out why. Alright, so this is injector for cylinder number four. We're just gonna go test for resistance real quick. I got 14.3 or 2. Now we're just gonna compare it to um, injector number 3. Close enough, there we go. So we can rule out this injector. They are good. Well, this connector is broken. Seems like someone is here before me. There's like supposed to be a locking tab right here. Now it's missing. Got 10 millimeter here. Hmm. Coil doesn't look good. Okay. I'm gonna label this to number four right there. I got 5.8 spark plug socket and extension. Let's pull this spark plug out. It is wet and smell gas. I'm gonna pull this out too. This is cylinder number one. And this one is cylinder number two. Yeah, this is the tab I'm talking about here. This one's missing. So obviously someone's been here. Okay. Pull this out, then I'm gonna put the cylinder number four coil on number one. This is number two. They're all in the bad shape. Pull the spark plug out. And cylinder number two. This one is dry compared to cylinder number four, which is wet. Okay. Now I'm going to put this spark plug on cylinder number four. Just snug it for now. Then this spark plug from number four is going to number two. Okay. Snug it. Then the coil is going to go back. I'm going to go label it with P for plugs. This coil is from cylinder number one. It's going to cylinder number four.
Just go tight them. Plug this back. This one too. All right. Then we're gonna start the vehicle. Let's see if the misfire will jump here or here. So let's try that. All right, guys. So I got my scanner hooked up, and let's see which cylinder now is misfiring. Okay, we have a cylinder for misfire earlier, but now we have cylinder number one who's misfiring. And cylinder number four is zero misfire. So, with this test, we can condemn ignition foil. We put spark plug here on cylinder number two, and number two is not misfiring right now. All right guys, to fix this engine, it needs one ignition coil, but this engine has 108,000 miles on it. It is a best practice to replace all of them and a spark plug. This engine also stalled at idle or on a stop sign. So when I scan it, I got this B0335 crankshaft position sensor A circuit. But obviously right now, the engine will crank and start. I'm not gonna dig more. I'm just gonna come down the crankshaft position sensor. Alright guys, here is the spark plug and the part number is K188461107. By the way, OEM spark plug are pre gap, but always double check it. Always start by hand. You don't want to cross thread it this thing. It's gonna be a bad day. Like really bad day. <laughs> I haven't done it. Cross finger.
Here is one of the ignition coil. They're all the same part number. 27302E000. This one is missing a locking tab, but still pretty secure. Yeah. Alright guys, so here is the new crankshaft position sensor and the part number is K391802B000.
right, it looks like it's all in. Just double checking my work here. Cool. All right, guys, so I'm still connected to the vehicle and none of the cylinders are misfiring right now. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.